Alright, here we have one of the best Samsung's mid-range phone, the Galaxy A52 4G launched a few days ago. Apparently the A51 was one of the best selling phones for Samsung last year and this year Samsung has upgraded it big time with some cool flagship features which is certainly going to make this phone the best seller for this year as well. Let me just open the box and show you what we get here. We have the phone on top, then comes the paperwork. A 15 watt charger, a USB type A to type C cable and that's it. There is no case and there is not even a screen protector on the phone, which is really annoying. This is an awesome white color, looks pretty good. I wanted to buy the blue one which was out of stock, so bought this white which is pretty good I would say. This is not a pure white, it's kind of off-white. It has this frosted glass feeling to it. Though it's a polycarbonate or plastic back, it looks pretty premium. Anyways, we are gonna put a case on it so it doesn't really matter whether it's plastic or glass. It seems well built and the weight is very well balanced. Very handy device given the size and its weight. This plastic frame could have been made better but that's what it is. Alright now before we go ahead and take a look at this phone, if you are someone interested in contents on Samsung phones, Galaxy watches, Android applications, do consider subscribing to the channel. Going forward you will see some cool contents regarding this A52 as well. Till now I had not included a mid-range phone on the channel so now you will get to see some contents on this awesome device as well. Alright the first few important features which really evolved me are its IP 67 water and dust resistant. It can resist the water when the phone is submerged in 1 meter deep water for 30 minutes. Second is that dual speaker or stereo speakers. This again we see in most flagship phones. Getting it in a mid-range phone from a tier 1 brand is really cool. The speaker quality is okay I would say. Then Snapdragon 720G which is a good upgrade from last year's Exynos 9611 chipset. The 5G version of this phone is getting Snapdragon 750G which is even better. Then we have the 64 megapixel main sensor with OIS that's optical image stabilization is another great spec for a Samsung device in this price range. Another great feature of this device is its Super AMOLED 6.5 inches 90Hz display where the peak brightness goes up to 800 nits. When compared to the flagships it might sound almost like slightly more than half of the brightness that you get on this device but it's pretty decent you might see some visibility issues under the direct sunlight but this is definitely good enough under the bright lights now these features on this phone will definitely stand out in a mid-range phone from samsung now coming to the rest of the specifications it comes with a 45 mh battery which supports 25 watt fast charging but out of the box we get only 15 watt charger which is not really great. We've got a 500 mAh increase in the battery size compared to last year's 4000 mAh on Galaxy A51. And remember that phone was supporting only 15 watt charger whereas this one can charge with a 25 watt charger which you will have to buy separately which doesn't come cheap. We do have a hybrid dual sim option over here. The selfie camera is about 32 megapixels which can also record 4K at 30 fps and 1080p which is full HD at 30 fps. So there is no 60 fps option over here. I forgot to mention even the rear camera can record 4K at 30 fps. The phone I have here is 128 GB version with 6 GB of RAM which is good enough for regular usage. Alright now coming to the software side of it, the phone comes with Android 11 1 UI 3.1 and I already have an update here. This is the update for the security patch level for February 2021. It's good to see 1 UI 3.1 here out of the box. So these are the specifications of this phone. I will be coming up with a full review of this device very soon in the next maybe a week or so. I will start using it from today and let's see how soon can I come out with a review of this phone. And uh, meanwhile I will be showcasing few other additional features which are available on this phone and the battery performance results. And in the future you will get an update on all the software updates this phone receives time to time. So if you are interested in all these contents about this phone, do go ahead and subscribe to the channel and let me know your thoughts about this video in the comment section below. And don't forget to smash that like button if you find this video useful. That's all I have here. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.